In today's video, your boys smell some paint. This stuff don't smell good. I'll take three hours to make a decision. Green, blue, red. Black and red. Black and red. Just black and red on their own. Yes. Black and red on their own will look sick, I think. Me being clumsy, I dropped some scooter parts. Well, we hydro dip some stuff, as said by the title, obviously. I set a stupid like goal. Let's get a thousand likes. Screw it. Like the video and get really, really. No, no, please, just, just, please, do me a favor, please. And I say, oh damn, oh damn. I guess you guys like hydro dipping. You know what that means. Opening up the secret cabinet. I attempted to actually hydro dip with film, but I just couldn't do it. <laughs> here's my attempt at wrapping some, uh, here's my attempt at wrapping some old forks in carbon. If I should try again, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna start a new thing right now, okay. If you can guess the amount of scooter parts in this, bear in mind, one wheel is one part, a set of pegs is another part, and a set of bars is another part. If you can comment a number right now, guess how many parts are underneath my bed. I'm talking parts, bolts don't count, nuts don't count, axles don't count, pegs do, bar ends do. If you can guess the number of parts that are inside my bed, the closest number within the first 24 hours, I'll pin your comment right at the top. So whenever people go into the comments, your comment will be right at the top. Guess a number right now. How many parts do you think are in this bed? And even if you get it right, I'll also pin you, so have a guess. If you think I should do this more often, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, I'm gonna pick out some parts, right? Why am I dark? Fix up. I'm gonna pick out some, what the hell is this? I've been bitten by something. But anyway, I'm gonna pick out some parts. I'm gonna do another hydro dipping video because I haven't done one of these in a while and you guys seem to enjoy it because it could either go wrong, it can either go right, it could either turn out beautiful. Who knows? And I've also got this. If you can't see what that is, that's just protein, ignore that because I'm a gym lad. It's a mini scoop, so, my idea was to make a stop going dark. My idea was to make a street mini scoot. If you guys want to see that, show some love, show your support. And if you haven't liked the video already, what are you doing? Right, so these are the parts I'm picking out today. Nothing big. I'm going to keep it small today, not the controller, ignore that. So we've got a wheel. I'm going to go over the PU because I just don't care. Uh, an old Ethic fork, which is currently bent. Some old Rasta district forks that wouldn't have come from like five years ago. I'm hoping if I go over these with something, like one colour, I wonder if it'll like go over the Rasta and keep the Rasta there, but have like a hydro dipping effect over it. That'd be pretty cool if that works. Same thing goes with the carbon attempt. Might look cool, who knows. And I did a fade on these, I pretty scratched up, but once again, might look cool. So these are currently all pretty much broken or really ugly, but I'm gonna try and spice them up a bit. Have you guessed how many parts are under here? If you haven't, make sure you guess, because uh, you could get your comment pinned. Who knows? Just have a guess. Why not? All right, so we have four sets of forks. A pair of praiseworthy glasses. I, I'm literally going to test out. On, uh, I'm going to test out see if this actually still works. Bear in mind this paint from if you haven't seen the last video, where we painted some stuff. This paint's only one pound forty nine, forty nine pvat. If you watch the last video, you'll get that. Um, I'm also going to hydrate these glasses because no matter how glasses go, I'm sure they'll look cool anyway once they're all dried off. But if this doesn't work, I guess we'll just do another episode. I guess. Also, I've seen Undial do this. If you guys want to see me hydrate with nail varnish. He's beginning to believe. Let's get a thousand likes. Screw it. Go for it. If the last, if the last two hydrogen videos can get a thousand likes, so can this one. Let's begin. I'm going to start with. We're going to go with the red and blue first, and then we're going to do it on. We're going to do it on the glasses. All right. Praiseworthy. Thanks for the glasses, by the way. These are sick.
He's looking pretty snazzy. That side, the other side didn't go too well, but they're pretty cool. Leave them, leave them to dry. Oh, my fingers are going to get dirty in this video. I've tried to clear out the bucket as much as I can. And look at the amount of paint that is on that. From the glasses I just did, I believe I need to don't spray as much and I need to just do it quicker. Go and probably DIY now. I'm going to use a stick to try and hang it in because I don't want my fingers to get any more dirty than they already are. We're going to go with these white forks, see if I can go over them again. I'm going to go with black and yellow. See how that goes. A bit of red as well, why not? Let's pull it out of the way it is. Oh, damn. Oh, yes, they look good. These look insane. Wow. I'm glad I put the red in that. This stuff don't smell good. Uh, green, blue, red. Black and red. Black and red. Just black and red on their own. Yes. Black and red on their own will look sick, I think. These ones are weird. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> I need to find another stick. Hopefully that don't snap on me like the uh, other one did. We're going with green and black this time. I've used yellow enough. All right, while it's moving, let's go. Final set of forks, Let's see how this goes. I think I'm just gonna try and go with the green on this. Green on its own, and then just move it about. Yeah, let's do that. Three, two, one. Oh, I can see these. Oh, damn. One color looks good. Bit of black. Check a little about. Dip. I can feel the paint clinging onto my fingers. This is nasty. Oh, yes. In memory of this hydro dip, I am going to hydro dip this. No. Oh, there's loads of bugs and stuff. No, 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 no. I'm good. Red Bull. Rastar. Oh my god, I left this for too long. Sick. Back in the trash. Sorry for having such a single camera angle the, the entire time of that because I was trying to concentrate on actually doing something decent because I've tried to film so many hydro dipping videos back in the past, guys, and half of them have just gone to trash. I'll tell you that now. Um, but we got a f we've done a few things. I've ordered them, so the ones on this, the parts on this side, are actually the best looking ones. So personally, I think these are uh, these old forks right here. These old forks right here, the best ones I've done so far. Probably one of the best ever. Once they're dry, they look even better. They look wet at the minute, but they're actually they're all right. These were just the green. Look pretty cool. If you want it quite plain, I recommend doing one color. These look pretty sick. Get close to them right now. Check these as well. These are the old Phoenix forks. 
See, I thought these would have looked good, but the paint kind of just came off in certain spaces. It's just kind of annoying me, but check them out. This looks pretty cool. Looks kind of like a galaxy, to be honest. And these are just trash. These things right here. If a scooter fork was hell, this is what it looked like. This is a scooter fork from hell. It just looks disgusting. It's like it's... Oh, it looks like it's been dipped in a pot of oil or something and a bunch of poison. This wheel was just trash. Just didn't... It, it looked all right on the core, but... I don't know. It could have been a lot better. And the glasses... Sorry, praiseworthy. <laughs> I, I should have done different colours. I just don't think... I just don't think the colours look great on them. I should have done some different colours, I believe. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, guys. Let me know what your favourite one was. Let me know what your favourite part was. And if you have any suggestions of any parts to hydro dip, maybe even hydro with proper film, nail varnish, anything, make sure you get in those comments make sure you get those comments in let me know what you guys want to see it doesn't have to be scooter parts i mean i know most of my channel is based off scooters and skate parks but guys it could be anything let me know i could i might even do the door panels inside my car if you guys want to see anything you've got to let me know okay if you want to see any of my other hydrogen videos i'll leave them up in the cards and also maybe down in the description depending if i remember or not anyway i'm gonna head back inside now so there's the video in the middle of its progress. I've been here for about three hours, so if you guys could leave a like, that'd be greatly much appreciated. To be honest, guys, I'd really appreciate you if you could go and check out some of my other videos. Because personally, my favourite videos to, to film are the GoPro vlogs, and you've seen them before. Surely some of you have anyway, because I do a lot of them. And um, they're personally my best videos, I personally think. But let me know in the comments, what do you think my best video is? Because I want to film more of what I do best of, because everything I've filmed from now on is just what I enjoy doing. So if you guys can let me know down in the comments, as per usual, I will say this, but just let me know. And um, it'll be, it would help me a lot, truly, honestly, it would help me a lot. But guys, if you want any skew parts, make sure you Smith 10, add dog skews, and you'll get 10% off anything you order at the checkout. Dog skews is the biggest and the best place to get your skew stuff online. Fastest shipping, most trustworthy. Oh, they've been in the game for so long now, for 10 plus years. And... Um, Literally, it's the only place anyone ever gets their scoop parts from nowadays, let's be honest. If you use Smith 10 at checkout, you can get 10% off, as I just said, as, as I just repeated myself. For God's sake, Spencer, what are you doing? And then um, if you DM me a receipt on Instagram uh, using my code, I'll actually follow you back. So that's always a bonus as well. So not only do you get 10% off, you also get uh, a follow back off your boy. At Spencer Smithy on the gram. Stay up to date. And press the notification bell so you don't miss another video from your boy, Smithy Don. You know what's good. And um, yeah. I've got some jokes videos coming up as well. We've got some stuff planned. So you don't want to miss out. Truly, you really don't want to miss out. Peace, guys. Have an awesome day.